This is the story of two men, Dick Gilder and Lou Lehrman. Their passion and partnership has changed the way students across the country are learning about American history. Once upon a time, long ago, uh, Dick and I m met one another in business in 1968. Dick and Lou were extraordinary men. Each of them was a history major at Yale, although in very different classes. I taught for two years uh, at college, and I thought I was going to be a history teacher. So I never gave it up. Uh, it, it, once a teacher, always a teacher. Lou was a, a budding scholar, and he began building a collection of Lincoln material, I think, shortly after graduating. Lou is a true historian. Um, I kind of just go along for the ride. Dick Gilder is a visionary philanthropist. He, he has a marvelous quality of setting things in motion. Dick and I decided we were going to create a major collection of historical manuscripts, American historical manuscripts and documents. And we wanted to, to teach American history from the original documents. So we created the Gilder Lehrman Institute they didn't want this, this collection, more than 65,000 documents, to molder in the vault. They really wanted it to serve educational purposes. To make it a resource that we would preserve in perpetuity, but that we would also use to serve K-12 education teachers, and through them, all these countless students. So we're also talking high-ranking Confederate government officials. So not only We think American history is the most important subject for every student to be familiar with, to be excited about, to have some understanding of. We're the only country founded on ideas. And so if there's no appreciation of those ideas, then we really have no heritage. And we can't ask people to give up their lives for things that they don't understand. There are 300 million Americans, and we really, as a democracy, need to have everyone informed about, in touch with, caring about. American history, or otherwise we're like people without a memory. Let's just take a look at the, this great document. Both Lou and Dick are in some ways natural teachers. They both have a passion not just about American history, the glories of the American past, but they also have this passion to connect those stories and the documents from the past with kids and in schools. Well, there's nothing quite like the thrill you get. Uh, when you see a document, uh, you become part of history yourself. There's something about the reality of them, the immediacy of them, that really strikes people in a very dramatic way. You'll always remember that you touched the Emancipation Proclamation. I, knew, I thought that this was like a dream I was pinching myself. I didn't even have words to describe what, the feeling I had. To be able to see that's real, this document was signed by Abraham Lincoln. To see the signature was just a really awesome feeling for me. To touch a manuscript um, can be the inspiration that kids need. And that's what these documents that Dick and Lou have bestowed on us make possible. Obviously, you can group the documents. I we believe that teachers um, didn't graduate from college and start teaching and suddenly lose their interest in history. On the contrary, that's why we have our 40 summer seminars where great historians lead teacher groups, and we've had teachers flock to these seminars. It was really through the Guild and Lerman um, Institute that history became alive for me. Is there a main cause for the Civil War? And I think all of that helped make me a better teacher because I made history come alive for my students. Because at the end of the day, that's who this was all about. I'm always impressed by the enthusiasm of the teachers. They're as enthusiastic at the end as they are at the beginning, and I think that's a tribute to them and the commitment that they have put into these projects. But of course, without the support of the Gilded Lehrman Institute, it wouldn't happen. Every teacher we reach, I think, potentially means hundreds or thousands of students afterwards benefit. I feel almost honored to take this class. and The fact that I'm able to partake in a class where we go so deep and we think so much about our past, it's a great experience. Is a decade, in your opinion, too extreme? Ex-slave owners? I think we would like to have every school in America be part of this. We have great ambitions to bring American history, the love of American history, back into every classroom. 
We're the flagship school of the Gilda Lamin Institute. We were the first high school they ever created. And one of the marvelous benefits of working with Gilda Lehrman is the fact that they support us, they sustain us, they offer enrichment for students and for staff through trips, through after-school programs. We're one of the most popular schools in New York City, and we had well over 2,000 applications for only 200 seats for this coming September. The results have been fantastic. I mean, the college placement record from that school is 96% of these public school graduates go on to four-year colleges. We have almost 3,000 affiliate schools now, and I said, well, probably our goal should be every school in America. We are reaching into pockets, small towns and pockets of rural areas where, where teachers don't have the resources uh, that, that you get in a big city. What's great about the traveling exhibitions is they visit underserved places that really don't have access uh, to the big museums and the special shows that we read about in the papers. But this is bringing history into the community in a visual, stimulating way. I don't know how many survive. What Dick and Lou have made possible for teachers and for students um, is it's indescribable. Uh, it is a great legacy, and uh, I couldn't admire Dick and Lou more. Um, it's incredible what they've offered everyone now and, and for posterity.